The survey conducted by Best Colleges in October found that out of 1,000 college students, around 56% say they've used AI tools to complete assignments or exams. Now, compare that to their survey just seven months before, where only 22% of students said the same. To see how AI is being used in classrooms in our area, we reached out to educators and the students themselves. At the beginning, let's say a year ago in the spring, it was just a discussion about what these tools are and how it could impact a specific discipline. Chris Bryson is the Director of Academic Initiatives at the University of Arkansas, where faculty have been collaborating on how to adapt to the widespread introduction of AI. Now that's kind of transitioning into this next phase of what does this mean? And that may depend on who you ask. I think it's a tool, like at the end of the day, you can use it for good purposes or bad. University students we talked to were split. And it can honestly give you sources. Um, if you need help finding topics for a paper or a research project, we're paying for this kind of education and we have a lot of great resources here. I don't know why we wouldn't just do the work ourselves. Most students tell us it's okay to use AI for research, but are concerned about their peers using it for full assignments. They don't want you using it to write like papers or using it to do all of your work, but I many people still do it. The reality is, is that I have friends of mine that have used it and done it and He's never seemed to actually catch anything. Because AI chatbots can make it harder to detect cheating, Bryson encourages the university's professors to take a less traditional approach. It's kind of a community effort is the best way I could describe it. It isn't just faculty trying to create rules and making sure everybody adheres. It's students also letting faculty know what kind of culture they want and the expectations they need to really make it a fair playing field for themselves too. Over at the Don Tyson School of Innovation in Springdale, teacher Natalie Campbell says educators are adapting assignments to embrace AI. We're designing that curriculum for specific outcomes from students. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, they can't just ask for a summary. Students here say use of AI chatbots is widespread. I'd probably say around 98 to 100 percent have at least touched it at one point. But 11th grader Daniel Paxton says he's confident teachers would catch students if they used AI to cheat. Instead, Paxton says he uses it to study more complicated subjects. When I'm reading a lot of these scholarly journals, a lot of, the, a lot of times the lingo they use in those journals are very difficult for just a high school student to understand. But most high schoolers that I interact with totally use it. Dada Cuenca says she uses AI chatbots to break down topics for her debate team and sees it as an opportunity to make sure students of all backgrounds are able to keep up. I know I, I couldn't afford tutoring, but now ChatGPT is like my tutor and it like helps me understand things. Campbell says it's now up to educators to make sure they and their students aren't left behind. That's why we want to try to incorporate it into the classroom so that we're teaching them how to use it appropriately. And if we just say, no, don't use it and we're afraid of it, then they're gonna use it anyways. And then they're gonna use it in a way that's not meaningful to them. Campbell says there are a variety of tools that educators can use to detect whether work a student turns in is generated by AI. We put a few of those links on our website, we even tried some of them out ourselves. You can find that analysis on fox24news.tv. In studio, Perry Elia Durrani, Fox 24 News.